Hey, hello everybody. This is uh, Randy Kilo, November 4, Yankee Bravo Alpha. And today in my series, I'm going to introduce you to my interface of the MFJ 939 Auto Tuner with my Flex 6400. Don't get me wrong, I would love to have the Flex Tuner, but right now, you know, I'm lucky my wife let me buy the 6400 after having a Yasu 991A. So I got to wait a year or two before I can upgrade. So in the meantime, I had to come up way to be able to tune my antennas. Keep in mind, I live in an HOA. My antenna's got to be in the attic. You know, I built inverted Vs. I tested all kinds of stuff. And I'll get into more details of my antennas later. But I had to come up a way to tune my antennas um, here at home, but mostly remotely. Because I do a lot of remote operations with my uh, Flex 6400. So I thought I'd pull this quick video together to kind of show you exactly what I did and how I did it. Um, move on to the next slide. Um, the the uh, MFJ 939 has a couple buttons on the front, three buttons and two lights. Um, right here is your SWR light. It, it turned green when the SWR is below 1.5. When you're tuning, the red light will come up on the tune button, tune light LED. Of course, here's a button you would push for a second to tune it. Uh, you can fine tune it by pushing it for four seconds while you're tuning your radio. I don't use the alter button or power button. Now, one thing about the uh, MFJ, you got to set it up uh, internally or through the switches to set it to auto tune. But once you've got it there, you're ready to rock and roll. What I like about this uh, MFJ 939, uh, it covers my full range uh, 1.8 to 30 megahertz. Um, it impedance matching, you know, my antennas in the attic, I've got all kinds of environments which are negative, um, but it works. Uh, minimum power for the auto tuner is 2 watts. I generally set it at 10 and leave it at that. Uh, maximum power while tuning is 100 watts. Uh, maximum RF power on this auto tuner is 200 watts. I'm running a, a bare 6400. I don't have that issue. Uh, one other note. Um, this will tune 6 meters. The only thing different you see, uh, you'll see your SWR come down, but your tune light will not come on. It will not illuminate. But it will get your SW down. It will tune six meters. I've done it on mine. I've done it both of my inverted Vs, and I built a vertical uh, six meters as well, and it tuned it. So. It's really simple to hook up. Uh, basically, and I use one antenna, so it comes out from the back of my uh, Flex 6400, goes directly into the uh, um, transmitter uh, port on the uh, tuner. Uh, the other port, of course, goes to my antennas. This is the back of the MFJ. The only the other connection, of course, I got grounds, grounds, and 12 volt goes to my uh, tuner. A little bit more about my antenna. So I've, I've gone through all scenarios of building antennas, except for the loop. I haven't done a loop yet, but I need something that's going to be dependable. And I got to tell you, I do like the uh, attic antennas. Um, it worked relatively well. Uh, but I've got 160 meters, I've got 80 meters, I've got uh, 40 meters, 20 meters, 17, and 10. Uh, and I tune a 10, uh, on 17 I tune 17, 15, and 12. Tunes in fine. I use my 10 meters for 10 meters and 6 meters as well. And then I got a vertical, uh, you can see it here, this is my vertical 6 meter coming up. Built that with flagpoles. Um, but this is acceptable for an HOA, not ideal location, but it's an inverted V. Uh, a little bit more about the wire. Now, I went through a lot of testing on wire. Um, and I first bought some uh, power tape. It was uh, two inch. It had stainless steel conductors on it. Thought I'd be happy with it. Uh, but when I've strung my first 80 meters, I was just curious what the resistance would be. Because I knew stainless had much more resistance than aluminum. And I came up 8 ohms on 80 meters on one leg. And I thought that was excessive. So I tracked this down. You get this at a farming ranch. This power tape. Uh, it's got 14 conductive aluminum wires in each uh, cable. And I, when I went out and checked it, I got a 0 
ohm. So much better, much lower resistance. So that's the reason I use this power tape for my antennas. Now, to operate, uh, I'm going to use, I use the flex and for tuning, and it's quite simple. Um, in your display, you got a button, it's called tune button, and I blew it up here. And generally, <clears throat> that's what you're going to hit to tune it. You hit it and you, and you let go, and it'll start tuning. I set my tune power to around 10 watts when I do this, and I press it, uh, and then I press it, and essentially it'll start tuning. You can hear the tuner, the relays chattering, but at some point it'll drop, and, and particularly here, it's, it's way down there, it's fine, but it may come up here at a 2.2, 2, I haven't seen 2.5, to be honest with you, but 2. Uh, 2.0 or something like that. It'll do that, and it'll stop. And that's your SWR. In this case, it stopped right there um, at, um, you know, less than 1.2. Once you've tuned down on flex, then you got to hit your tune button again to turn it off. That's the only trick about flex. Now, what I call this is advanced tuning. Now, sometimes my SWR will come down and it'll be, you know, two point. Five, not, not 2.5 but more like 2 and that's too high I think it's too high so what I can do is with the uh, tune button depressed with 10 watts I will uh, advance to it what's what I call is basically what you're doing if you're in the ham shack you'll press this tune button for two seconds and let go of it and it'll it'll do a little chatter maybe and pop back but if it's not low enough if it's still up high, well, hold it for four seconds. Then go back and press it again for four seconds. Count about four. You'll hear the relays chattering and just let go of it. And then it's probably going to be about as low as you can get it. But you do have this option to define tune your antennas. And I do that uh, often. Um, now, with me, I love the flex because of remote operation. But one thing i got to be able to do is tune my antennas. Well, clearly... When I'm running the radio or remote, I'm seeing the same screen. I have the same button, so I can tune it remotely. But I want to be able to fine tune it remotely. Well, there's a couple things you got to get to do that. Um, I use this digital logger uh, wired into my uh, uh, tune button here, uh, and I hook it up to the normally open contact here. Then I plug that into my wireless switch that I use my phone with. So when I'm on the road and I need to tune it down more, I can do the two second tune or I can do the four second fine tune and it works fine. Um, now you do have to modify your, your tuner. It's really simple. It's just a matter of taking the uh, screws out of the case, taking it apart. What you're looking for is look at the back side of the tune button. You want to look at the uh, uh, normally open conductor and the ground and you want to run two wires outside of this. It's going to run back back to your logger and you'll connect it to your normally open contacts on your logger now don't hold me responsible i'm not responsible for anything you do but i've done it and it works fine so in remote tuning it's the same thing for me and number one you know i'm tuning and once it stops then i'll use my phone and i'll select that uh, wireless switch I'll try to have it on about two seconds, turn it off. You can see on your display the tune will change a little bit. Uh, if it's not down low enough, what I do with that same app, I turn the app back on. I count about four seconds. Um, I'm not here. I can't hear the relays, but I can see my display. The tune will come. SWR will start bouncing again, and it will fine tune it. And it usually brings it right in for me. So... That's how I do it. Now, next thing I'm going to do is kind of show you a uh, with the radio itself, kind of go through the, the steps as well. Yeah, before I get ahead of myself, let me just show you what I use in a ham shack. Now, you use the tune button on the auto tuner. Uh, for me, it's up well, far up away from my uh, my chair. I don't like reaching over trying to reach it. So when I modified my uh, tuner. I have one of the wires coming down here and I got this little switch on top of mine. I use a foot pedal 
for a keyer on my desktop it's so easy to reach and feel and it's big and it works great uh, modified it with some switches for up and down on channels uh, that's predominantly for my flex uh, not my flex but my Yazoo 991a but nevertheless I just push this button here it does the same thing as put pushing the tune button here I could do it for my desk so I wanted to show you that and before I get going any farther I want to show you the uh, MFJ website the auto tuner I'm talking about now this one here is a uh, ICOM and what it means it's the same tuner but if you order this one it comes with the ICOM interface cable I have the Yatsu 991A when I ordered it I ordered it with a Yatsu cable so uh, it, it's a comma Y so there's a different or you can just get the box without any cables um, I ordered it with the cable because I hooked it up to the 991A for a long time and use it for this so that may help you out there so we'll move on to actually doing a demo okay so we're basically going to do a basic tune I've tuned to a frequency um, we'll go ahead and just tune up check out the there's nobody on frequency I actually have the power right here right here set at 10 watts so I'm going to go ahead and do a tune and there it is then you go hit the button again and it's out it's good it's tuned up now um, we'll go to 80 meters and see what happens here nobody's on frequency I'm going to hit tune watch the lights that, that one's tuned um, so you saw before the light was coming on on the MFJ tuner when I was on uh, 40 meters 80 meters looks to be okay let me go up higher see if I get it to tune there you go I did click it's coming in it's good enough right now uh, let's go to I know 80 160 meters that's a fun one here uh, with an antenna in the attic and we're gonna go tune it let's see what happens it's tuned <laughs> well I'm not doing much of a demo here uh, let's go to I know let's go to 15 meters now uh, 15 my uh, antenna tuner automatically changes the antenna I want there's somebody talking there nobody else on frequency let's go ahead and go through a tune and it's tuned so I'm not gonna be able to demo this much let's go to 12 meters let's try that one Tin is pretty much tuned in. It's the radio's got a uh, the tuner's got a memory, so it remembers everything. There you go. Now you can see the red light and tuned up, and it's less than 1.5. You always remember to hit the tune button after you're done. Now I'm gonna go back and demo demonstrate the fine tune. Uh, there's two ways of doing it. Uh, when you're at your uh, at your shack, you can press the uh, the tune button. Um on the uh, MFJ box or um, way I've got my rigged up I've got it rigged up with a wire coming out so I can do it remotely but also I can do it from the desktop so uh, what you got to do first you got to hit tune and then press the button and it tunes and that's it it does a fine tune now if it doesn't come in come in low enough for you you press the button hold it for four seconds so it's the same button here it's the tune button right there you push that button does the same thing so it's tuned so anyway so I hope this helped out um, it works for me um, Till I get enough money to save up to buy a flex tuner, I'm going to use this. It works remote, great remotely, just like I'm sitting in a ham shack. I uh, hope you learned something from this. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at admin at kn4yba.com. Um, 73s to you, and have a great day.